Caldercott's been around for over a hundred years. Um, it's always looked after children and young people and families. And, and in its present form, we actually deal with children who I guess are at the top end of the spectrum in terms of having been excluded from school, uh, from their families. The majority of them are on care orders. And um, for 52 weeks a year, some of them are actually here residing with us. I live at Horby. Here, it's a very nice place to live. I've been here nearly two years um, and I've really got to know the place really well. I came from a secure unit, so it's totally different. I didn't think I'd last even two weeks, to be honest. My first time, I'd not, never ever call it home, just call it Hornby. But one day I said, oh, it's my home. I don't see that I'm living in a care home. It's more like a home that I'm accepted in and it has taught me a lot and I don't think I've got a bad thing to say about this place. It's taught me a lot and I love it. It's really good. My first day I got home, oh my God, I was scared. I was really scared and it was like, oh my God, how are they going to treat me here? What, what fence am I going to wait? Yeah, I was all scared and I didn't want to go into class. I didn't like the shoes and it took me about three hours to get my shoes on. I kind of thought, like, this place is really helping me out and I thought, Do you know, I like this place, it's probably going to help me. I try my hardest to make living here worth it. They try to make it the best place. If you're willing to work with it, you can make it really far. I came here because as a qualified social worker I wanted to get back to what I started off doing I guess and here you're actually uh, providing a service to young people uh, where young people go out into the world and uh, you, we've made a real difference to them. There's one young lad who's done really really well, he's become an actor um, and uh, he's a singer as well and he stars in films. and. Uh, the first day I met him, he was, he was dressed as Margaret Thatcher <laughs> and, and was acting like Margaret Thatcher and being quite bossy. He was a very, very challenging young, young man. Um, but he, he had a, a gift and a talent for, for singing and music and acting. If I hadn't come to Cornwall, I'd be like a... Um, I'd be like a maniac in school. I'd be crazy. But now I've come here, the adults are helping me to stop doing that. Social services and people who look after me said she'd have been dead by now. I haven't had the best of life, missed, I'd say, 14 years of childhood without a mother. I wouldn't be here. I'd have been dead ages ago. I remember being asked once what's achievement for one boy. It was him leaving his radiator on the wall and the glass in his windows. And eventually he moved on from here into a foster placement. Um, I would say to local authorities, if you invest at an early enough stage with young people in distress, that you can actually get them back on the road to renewal. Do get a thrill when young people come back and visit. We had two young men um, who, who I was, I taught in school and also looked after in residential, um, who've come, who came back and visited. And they're both 27 and they're still mates, which is really lovely. Um, and they came back and uh, they were, they, it, it was just the acknowledgement of what we tried to do for them uh, in their own way. They said thank you. I just can't believe how much I've done at Cordica and I'd like to say thank you to all the adults that have uh, seen this video and helped me in my future. You just have an opportunity to live again and to be loved which is something personally I have never had. So coming here is a big thing and it's different and I love it. Yeah, I'd say it was amazing.